holding down the dive key. Once I wait, once I reach zero meters, I should be able to start diving. That's something I should fix. Maybe that's something I can change, so if it's at 0.1 meters, I can uh, I can dive. Okay, so uh, one of the things you can see is um, there's the buoy. I'm going to turn on my GPS. The buoy is just northeast of the pipe marker. But if I look over at my dive buddy, he's actually diving with me. And this is um, This is not something that I planned either. This is just something that has happened. He's actually just floating on the surface of this pond that I'm floating on the surface of underwater. So, um, as we descend, uh, as you can see the depth changing on my depth meter, I'm now at uh, 8.4 meters below the surface of the water, uh, the dive buddy is actually diving right along with me, even though he's not attached to this pond. He's just <coughs> floating uh, floating along with me. Now if he moves beyond the edge of this pond, he's actually going to snap back up to the surface instantly. Um, so, anyway. Anyway, uh, if you look closely, you can see the pipe there that I've placed underwater, just to show that, yes, you can place things underwater. Uh, I also placed some, uh, what do you call it, uh, little plants and stuff, just to make it look more realistic. I'm going to swim over there and dive while I'm doing that. This is just to really just show you guys uh, you know, the possibilities of mission making. Uh, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, there could be a mission where um, you have to check this pipe for cracks, because there are cracked versions of these pipes. Um, you could set a demo charge on the pipes, so let's say it's like an enemy uh, communications pipe or something like that, for their phone systems run through this this pipe or something, um, and then you could you would have to blow it up or something, so anyway, so there's a lot of different uh, possibilities. Anyway, I'm going to go back towards the uh, buoy, which is just northeast of this pipe marker. And, uh, like I said, it's real easy to get lost under the water. The visibility is, t is really bad. But if you just keep scanning around left and right, you should eventually find the buoy. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, start my uh, ascent. Now, right now, I don't have depth damage turned on. This is kind of a, kind of a deep dive. This is just about to the limit of... Uh, uh, some of the uh, closed circuit systems, but uh, that's a that's a feature that I'm still working on. Now, right now, I'm holding down numpad two in order to uh, surface uh, or ascend. Uh, but if I if I move forward and also uh, hit ascend or hit numpad two, I actually uh, rise up a little bit faster. As you can see, I can swim underneath boats. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have no, I have no limitations in terms of where I can go. <coughs> so I'm just going to keep uh, rising here, and I'm going to show you guys one more feature, and that is the uh, satchel underwater satchel charge feature. Um, this this feature is kind of a work workaround to uh, losing your inventory. If even if I put satchels in my inventory, I'd, I'd lose them all. So basically, what I've done is I've made this script so that I can uh, position a satchel in front of me and uh, wherever I move it moves with me it's actually attached to my to my unit right now so um, I can swim forwards and it swims with me and I can rotate left and right but I cannot go backwards so that's something to keep in mind but I'm gonna try and place this really close to the uh, to the screw right here or the prop. And 
yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, once you're once you're happy with where it is, and remember, um, when I'm not hitting uh, up or down, uh, I actually just tend to have a positive buoyancy, so I just tend to float towards the surface. So I always have to constantly pull myself back down because I'm right now I'm not hitting anything and I'm still rising. So I'm gonna go back down a little bit, go up a little bit, go down a little bit, and uh, and I'm gonna release the satchel right there. Uh, so right now the satchel is just floating in one place, and I'm going to swim away from the boat, which is very important for safety. Uh, I've noticed that when you are swim too close to, especially the sides of boats, uh, you tend to uh, bump into the boat, and then the boat ends up like knocking you out, or hitting you in the head, or killing you, or something. Um, but I, I just wanted to take, just to show you that you can swim away from the satchel, and the satchel stays still. Now that satchel is not actually attached to the boat, so if the boat drives away, the satchel is going to stay right there. I'm still working on some way of attaching it in that position relative to the boat. I'm not sure how to do it, but I'm still working on it. Anyway, um, now if I wanted to, I could set the uh, satchel timer, uh, but I actually don't need to be near the satchel timer to do that. I can do that from uh, the boat. So I'm going to go back over to my combat rubber raider craft, or raiding craft, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get in as the driver. But I actually can't uh, do anything now, so I'm going to have to uh, pop up. Now, now I can set the timer on the uh, satchel. There it is. Um, so you board that ship. Tell my dive buddy to get in the boat. That's gonna take him a while. Cause he's, cause all these AI guys are slow. He might die now, cause he's gonna go past this boat. And he's gonna run into it, and maybe he'll die. Hopefully he won't. Okay, there's my dive buddy. I actually accidentally told him to get into the fishing boat. Okay, so now he's in the boat, um, and I'm taking a look at my uh, wristwatch here in the timer. As soon as it hits, uh, gets down to um, the 12 mark, I'm just going to go ahead and give it 30 seconds on the satchel, get in the boat, and then take off. Right there. I can actually add time, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to swim away from the boat so I don't die. Need to get that far away. But... We'll just apologize in advance to the uh, nice fishermen on the boat as they blow up right about now. Right now. There you go. Uh, so the boat blows up. And, you know, there are terrorists on that boat or something, so they all died, and now the boat is sinking. And that's it. We're good to go. So those are just some of the features that I've uh, built into this system. Um, there are um, some bugs, some things I'm still working out. Uh, there's also some other features that I'm looking forward to uh, implementing. Uh, once I figure out how to do that, and um, I don't know, that's about it. So, uh, oh, this is one of the things you can do also if you're uh, in the boat, which you might be able to do normally. If I hit the up key on here, I'll actually pop out, and the boat takes off. There's a name for that. The seals do that. They just drop out of the boats. Uh, I don't know what that's called, but anyway, that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, totally unintended, it just worked out that way. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed these, this little uh, tutorial, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel to re leave them in the comments below, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of features. Uh, I'm, at, by the, I'm not actually, fuck. Right now I'm using a system that only has uh, one method of, this is really boring. Hey guys, this is Faint, and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today. Oh shit. I think that's a shark over there. Hey guys, well, uh, the shark killed me. Uh, ate me. I'm 
sure the fishermen won't mind if I blow up their boat. 